So what's going on YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to take a look at a Dutchman Astoria Platinum and this is going to be a 3553 MBP. Now the last RV review that I did was on this Yukon and today I want to take a look at its smaller sibling. Now this is going to be like more of like a luxury profile fifth wheel. This is a mid profile. So let's go ahead and take a look at the front. One thing I mentioned about the Yukon that I like was the front design of the front cap. This is going to be an insulated front cap also and I do like the LED strips that they put on the front and up front they are using a 18,000 pound GVWR pin box. Now the GVWR for this trailer is going to be slightly different I'll go over that with you in a second. And it is going to be an upgraded pin box which again is going to help with manage going down the road when you're towing the trailer. Inside the storage bay you do have a pretty deep size. It has a nice drop off. I don't know if you guys can see that. I'll show it to you this way. Not a fan of having the spare tire in here. Now the pros obviously are going to be it's going to be protected from the elements. So if you never really use it for a while obviously it's going to stay pretty fresh. But you can put them under the RV using a BAL hide of spare. I installed it on my RV and I did do a video on that so be sure to check that out. But overall, one battery on this side and still a good amount of space in here. And if you had this spare tire up here, it would be a lot more. They do give you some magnets up top for the door. I like this a lot better than the latches because the latches tend to be hard to get off. So I do like this design a lot better. Up front, they are using electric jacks and it does have a four point auto leveling system too. You have two propane tanks on each side. They are using a 15 foot awning and an 11 foot awning out back and I do like this white paint versus having darker colors a lot more RVs are starting to change back uh, to this white color scheme primarily because of heat now this does have two speakers up top and they do have the furnace on this side which is pretty odd I'm not really seeing that on these type of profiles this is gonna be a mid profile setup so normally they have them on the other side the good news about this RV too is it is under 40 foot. Not by much, but it's under. So that is a really good selling point for some people. Now taking a look at this storage compartment, this is a pretty large one for the most part. However, you do have a big hump on that side. So it does kind of eat away at this storage on that side, but it does kind of come back and give you some more additional space. I'm not seeing any lights inside of here though. That's something that I, I'm pretty used to seeing and I'm not seeing that in here. That's the first I've noticed of any RV not putting any kind of lighting system in here. Now they have some uh, buttons here. I'm not sure what these are for. Maybe when I have a chance I'll go around and take a look at that. But there are no lights inside here that I can see. Actually, I can see them now. So they give you an LED strip. I see it now right here. And I'm not sure if I see it anywhere else. But I actually like this a lot better because it goes all the way across. Maybe it would be cool to see one kind of on this side too. But hard floor surface, which is a plus for me. And they do have lighting out here. So, And this is a decent size. Not the biggest I've seen on mid profiles, but big enough. Just like most mid profile, mid bunk RVs, you only have one slide on this side. Now, this is a cable driven slide, which kind of sucks. But it's not a bad thing. They're using these a lot more. So I'm hoping that these are going to become more reliable. I do like that they're using a lighter color material for the slide wall. I've mentioned on my RV, it gets really hot because I have like a black material like this one here. And when you go to touch it, it gets really hot to your hand. You can't even touch it for this long. You almost have to pull your hand off of it. So just keep that in mind if you do plan on camping a lot in the summertime. And you can notice that you have large windows on each side of this slide out too. This fifth wheel is riding on 16 inch wheels. It's going to be a ST23580 and it's a high spec tire. I'm not sure what that means, but that's the tire they're using. They are using 6,000 pound axles. There's going to be two. And this is riding on just a standard suspension. I would like to see something more upgraded. That's pretty normal now for mid profile RVs. Even some travel trailers are now using that. And you guys can see your other jack system on the rear. And like I said, this is four points. One thing to keep in mind are your steps. They do give you the step above system. This is through more ride. And this is probably one of the best step systems. However, the only drawback to this one is when you open the door, this is a very narrow step. So coming in and out, you're going to have to be a lot more careful because if you put your foot on the side of this, you're going to slide off and you're going to bust your behind 
speaking from experience too so just keep that in mind mine are a little bit wider than this and i've still had issues so just keep that on your list of things that you might want to upgrade to a wider step if you buy this rv what's neat about this fifth wheel is they do give you some power outlets on the rear of the fifth wheel which is pretty cool and they give you some hookups for the television also and the only thing i see as a drawback is they put this too low because you can see the caulk that they put in here is starting to kind of separate a little bit so i think they should have raised this up just a little bit to help with the overall design of this out back they are using led lights they do give you a accessory for maybe like a tray to put out back it's not for towing though and they do give you connection for a backup camera also it's called voyager y sight technology now just behind the hitch they do give you a place to put your sewer hose this is actually smaller than what i'm used to seeing mine is a lot bigger than this and they do give you a fresh water connection and your 50 amp connection is back here also same story on this side every slide is going to be cable driven and this is just a better look at these wheels i like this design of these wheels a lot these are really nice looking wheels this is the mid bump slide here i've never seen this before I have seen it before, but I've never seen it on this design for a mid bunk. They have two places that you have to dump from. The reason why this is odd is because they could have run that pipe all the way down. That way it could have drained out of this to one point as opposed to having two places you have to dump from because now you have to buy additional sewage hoses and connections just to dump from two places when it could have just been one. I think they should change that in the future. Now this is going to be my RV. You guys can see that this pipe that runs into this uh, connection for the piping, that's for my kitchen sink. As you guys saw, they give you a point to dump from there and they also give you one for the bathroom and for the toilet. Now I do understand why they did what they did. You guys can see how low my plumbing does sit. I haven't had any issues in the last two years and I've gotten pretty low to the ground before. I still would prefer this just because I would like to have just one place to dump from because if you do buy that RV you're gonna have to have two sewer hoses and you're gonna have a two-in-one to dump you know down to your uh, sewer drop-off so like I said this is in my opinion the best way to go and hopefully they can fix that in the future they also give you your low point drains on this side of the RV which is in a good spot I like it when it's closer to everything else because you can kind of do everything in one spot they are using a Dometic hot water heater and it's gonna be gas and electric most of the brands are using suburban but I don't think it matters which one you go with they, they seem to be pretty good I've had a few issues with my Dometic furnace but I mean so far so good now now this is the other side of your compartment for your storage and this is gonna be your water bay slash TV hookup and they do give you a light and something I haven't seen yet is they give you the spray port inside of here. I like this better than the outside shower because I don't really use hot water out here. But to each their own. I think some people like the hot water because they black tank flush with it sometimes. So that's something that I've heard online. Now one thing I would like to see, and this is not, for, again, this is not a blow at Dutchman. I would like to see manufacturers put these two connections below these valves. Because when you go to pull these valves these are in the way so when you go to pull them if you're staying at your site a lot longer than expected it's just really hard to pull and open and close these and over time these get hard to open and close so imagine having to keep a hose out the way while you try to pull it and they do give you a place where you can run the hoses throughout here I just noticed they don't give you a lock on this door they only give you one on just one of the locks and I will tell you guys these plastic latches are the worst i have them on my rv i can't stand them and they come flying open when you're going down the road it's happened to me two or three times and i don't have anything pushing on the door it's just these latches just not they're not good they're not good at all so if this is something that might be important to you you might want to make sure you have the dealership see if they can switch them off before you take delivery of it auto leveling system is right here gas strut assisted doors too I'm starting to see more manufacturers put the rollers under the slides that are cable driven and that's just a good thing because whenever these have issues they're starting to add these after the fact so I guess they're able to help with the overall function of them. Alright so when you're looking at the numbers for this rig 
with all the options and features i know it has a second ac unit which was optional it's 11,076 pounds so this is a really lightweight rv you're still going to need a one ton to tow this thing i think it has like an 1800 pound or 1900 pound payload dry so you're right at under 2,000 pounds a gas truck will suffice for something like this too gvwr is gonna be 14,000 pounds which is gross fuel kuwait rating gross axles as i mentioned were 6,000, and that's the tires are using and the wheels and total cargo carrying capacity is 2,864 pounds now they do calculate this with the freshwater tank full all right guys so i have some bad news my wife is not here today i know you guys are excited to see her and unfortunately she had to handle some things and could not come with me today but the good news is i know what she talks about i know what she likes and hopefully i can do a great job without her today but she will be back in the next video so stay tuned for that we will start out back just kind of going over just this couch and the storage bins they do have a lot of open storage bins in this rv and i'll show you a few other places but one on this side you have usbs and a power plug same thing goes on this side. Now the way this couch goes down, not my favorite. You pull this and it just flops down. Very easy to do. I mean, this probably saves you like five seconds. So that's pretty good. However, you don't have a lot of walking distance around the couch. But one pro about this RV that my RV does not have is they put the air vent for the furnace closer to the island, which I like a lot better than what we have now. Ours would be kind of like right here in the center of the floor versus how they put it over here. Now this couch does stick out a lot from the wall too. So it does kind of get into the way of the space you have. But it is a nice couch, very plush. And it looks like you can kind of recline it too, like right, right here. You probably could, let me see. Yeah, you could recline it and sit like this too. And kind of have maybe four seats of reclining in here. And as you guys can see, these are recliners. You know, these are not going to be powered. They're just going to be manual seats. And they also give you storage with two cup holders. You do have a storage above the couch in the rear. And that storage does follow over to this side. Large television. And you do have a 40 inch fireplace with your radio. I'm going to be honest with you guys. I will never hold anything back. I'm not impressed by the quality in the Astoria. I think they need to do a little bit better job. And what I mean by that is these doors. You see that? I mean, these, they can be adjusted, but this RV is not that old. This is a 2021, and I feel like they should just do a better job with the overall quality. Um, and I really think this is a good RV, don't get me wrong, but you're going to have to catch a lot of these things before you take delivery. You do have a large kitchen island, really nice. Barn sink, no slit in the middle. This is the best possible sink you could have inside of an RV. This is residential size. And I love this design here too. Very nice, very modern. Even the lighting that they give you is pretty nice too. They give you your vent fan. And this is a decent sized refrigerator. This is the same size that we have in ours. And pretty much the exact same thing. And really nice size. And this definitely does get the job done too. Now this does have the booth design for your seating, for your eating. Not a fan of the booth just because it just has that restaurant look and feel now for the most part you can turn these into a bed and give yourself additional sleeping but i'm not a huge fan of this i mean it takes a lot of time to set all this up in my opinion i'd rather just have a mid bunk or a loft or just use that couch back here now as you guys can see i do like the colors that they use inside the kitchen decent amount of space around your stove residential size microwave and just again look how much counter space you have on this island this is like residential size and love the design of it too now this is what you're gonna have to deal with in mid profile is storage they don't have a lot of storage and I mean this is definitely not much better than what I have but it's it's useful for sure you're gonna have to use a lot of the storage up there like if you do plan on living in something like this full-time but you do have storage just below the stove and additional storage for tall thin things that you can put inside the drawer here one thing worth noting is because of the size of this island they do give you two trash cans i would love to have that in my rv but unfortunately i don't this is a really good setup here moving over to the mid bunk as i mentioned about quality drawer won't close small things so these things are easily fixed you can fix all these things by yourself 
but I didn't have a lot of these issues on my RV when I got it. So just be sure to check these things. The mid bunk is pretty small, but it's okay because you're under 40 foot. They do have to give you these pop lights. They give you two on this ceiling and then two on this slide too. And it's decent size. They do give it duct ducted air inside of here. And I like that it's low too because the air can cool this area better. But if it's on the roof, it does not do a good job. I only have one inside of here. They give you two. So decent size storage inside of here also. And then they give you your plugs on this side and you can put a TV on this wall also. When you walk inside the RV, they do give you your vent fan for the side of the kitchen. It is very hot, it's 96 degrees outside. I'm literally sweating. And they do give you your control panel. You guys know what I'm gonna say next. In command system is what I like. I have that on my RV and I like it better. If you do have to put this in your RV, manufacturers, put it behind the door. It just looks a lot better and cleaner when you walk in. It's the first thing you see when you walk into your RV, and I don't think it looks that good. But decent size walkway here. As you guys can see, there's no place to hang coats, no place to put shoes, except for down here. You can put shoes in here on your booth, but there's no place to hang anything. And that's because it's just a shorter RV overall. You have a decent size loft. And over here, you this door opens to the kitchen pantry above. I, I think I didn't open it up for you guys, but I thought it was kind of strange. But it's it's pretty cool. They give you two USBs on the roof right there. I think that's actually in a pretty decent spot because kids that are hanging out, gonna be playing their games or on their phone, and they can just plug it in right there. As far as for the door for the bathroom, I have that weird door, and I like that door better than this one. This this door, look at that. It's just it just swings open this way and there's nothing stopping it from breaking this wall so they need to update that but this bathroom is amazing you have two sinks a lot of countertop space and they give you storage in the middle and they just give you two mirrors on each side perfect i like that your toilet's right down below you do have a two-piece shower but it's not bad it's all white very clean and then of course this is your shower head and they also give you a vent fan in here and as I talked about open storage, open storage here too. This is going to be a porcelain toilet and you have nice storage just below those sinks also. Moving into the bedroom, you have surprisingly a lot of space on the side here. And also this is a king bed and they give you LED lights on the roof. And I like this wood color inside the bedroom here. I like these balances too. They look a lot cleaner. These blinds, not my favorite. But they work. I mean, at the end of the day, I mean, you are in an RV, you're not looking for premium things. And this is not a luxury RV, as you guys can see. They do give you the connections for your washer and dryer in here. Tons of storage. I believe, yeah, this can go up top here to give you more storage inside of this area too. And a little bit more, not tall, but a little bit more additional storage in here. Now, this is your closet. They do give you some locks. I like these better than what I have. I have the plastic locks. They've already broken a couple times, so this is better. And this is not a big closet, guys. I mean, check that out. I don't see that there's any lights in here. Actually, they do have one down here. I don't have a light in my closet. This is a good upgrade too. And I've actually had to add LED lights on mine. But this is not a big closet. I actually prefer not to have carpet in here too. Just because when you have your shoes in there and they get dirty, it can dirty up the floor, but not bad. They give you two mirrors here, and I don't really see any plugs on each side of the bed. They have a plug down here, and I don't see any place for USBs. And in my RV also, there's a nightstand on this side, but like I said, there's there's no USB plugs or anything on this side of the of the bed here. So just keep that in mind. Now this is gonna be the only dresser inside the bedroom, which is pretty common for mid profiles. And you can put a television up top. Um, I prefer to have them already come from the factory. If it's, if it's an option, just get it done. I prefer to have the TV enclosed in something. But overall guys, this is a nice RV. Don't get me wrong, there's a lot of quality things I would like for them to fix. But honestly, I mean, this is a 40 foot fifth wheel just below that length. And I think that for what you're getting, if you can get this thing less than $45,000, I
I think this is a pretty good bargain. I mean, it has automatic leveling system. It has really nice kitchen, large island, decently sized refrigerator, and it has a lot of amenities that even higher uh, RVs have, and you can get this at a cheaper price. But I hope this was helpful, guys. Be sure to like and subscribe to the channel, and I will see you guys really soon.